At this time, please stand as Bernardino Contreras plays the national anthem. Thank you for your keynote. Please be seated. I would now like to welcome senior Savannah Onesimo to the stage for our land acknowledgement. Shift plowing. Inklash Winniksha Savannah Onesimo. Wash now Yakima Tin Mami Ticham Tichamkanik. Nimi Sluli, Quakta Public Schools Iwa, Yakima Timani Tichampa. Ichi Iwa, Nishai Tukama. Putin's Kukunik Tima. Tin Mapama, Yakima Nation Mami, Wea Ut Lama. Kotla Nukshash, Ichi, Yakima Tichamia, Utin Maya. Good evening. My name is Savannah Nesama. We're from the lands of the Yakima Nation. Our schools, Kwakta Public Schools, are on the Yakima Reservation. This is the home of the 14 Confederated Tribes and Bands of the Yakima Nation, the First People. I'm grateful for this Yakima land and the people. Thank you. Good evening. My name is David Whitney and I'm the principal of Wapato High School. I would like to welcome you to the Wapato High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. I would like to take this time to thank our Wapato community, our board of directors, and our Wapato School District staff and families of all our graduates for the support they have provided to this wonderful class. Thank you. Please welcome the Senior Class President, Quintic Jacob. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the commencement ceremonies for the Wapato High School Class of 2023. We, the Class of 2023, are honored that you have chosen to share this time with us. Before the ceremonies begin, we would like to remind you that this celebration is for all the people. Please remember to be courteous by turning off your cell phones to silent and by giving each graduate's family the opportunity to hear their name called. Thank you. Thank you, Quinton. At this time, please welcome Kelly, Mr. Kelly Garza, the superintendent of the Wapato School District. Good evening, buenas tardes, and Chief Cloudy. On behalf of Wapato Public Schools and the Board of Directors, congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. We proudly gather here tonight to honor you and to recognize and celebrate your accomplishments and to bid farewell to 13 years of hard work and effort. As we reflect on this 13 year journey, let's not forget that you had to navigate a challenging high school experience unlike any other graduating class. You were in your freshman year when the COVID-19 pandemic hit and your lives were definitely impacted. Although we are no longer in the pandemic, we do understand that COVID-19 impacted each and, every, each and every one of you in one way or another over the last four years. Nonetheless, here you are, graduating and ready for the next chapter in your life. Wouldn't you agree, students, that getting here wasn't an easy task? You worked very hard for 13 years and you deserve all the recognition and all the accolades tonight. But wouldn't you agree, that the unwavering support and dedication of your parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, and friends, and our educators made reaching this milestone just a little bit easier.
Throughout your life, your family members have been your guiding stars. Many of them sacrificing their time, their energy, and resources to provide you with the best possible opportunities and experiences. Their love, encouragement, and steadfast belief in your potential have been the driving force behind your accomplishments. They have taught you lessons of resilience, perseverance, and the value of family. Their presence enriched your life and has taught you the, import the importance of che cherishing your roots while reaching for the stars. We owe them, you owe them, a debt of gratitude and for their commitment and support. And today, you probably sit here as a testament of their love and sacrifice. So thank you, parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We also owe a tremendous amount of gratitude to our educators. And by our educators, I mean everyone that works at Wapato High School, everybody at Wapato High School, and everyone else that works throughout the district, regardless of their roles. They have nurtured you, challenged you, and guided you along the path that led you to tonight's graduation. They have been your mentors, shaped your intellect, instilled in you the thirst for learning, and have prepared you for the challenges that lie ahead. Their dedication to your growth and success is immeasurable, and it is in part because of their belief in your potential that you are here today, ready to embark on your next chapter. So regardless, Regardless of the path you take next, whether it's higher education at a university, a college, community college, a trade school, or enlist in the military to serve our country with honor, or you're directly entering the workforce, whatever it is that you do, whatever you choose, do, do it with passion and conviction. Today marks the end of one chapter in your life and the beginning of another, filled with hope and promise. Our district's mission, it's not a secret, you say this a lot, it is to prepare you for success in a global economy. I believe we have accomplished that. I believe you are ready for what lies ahead, and I know you will, and you can accomplish great things in your lifetime. So class of 2023, congratulations to you, your families, and all of those that have helped you reach a significant milestone. And please remember, students, each and every one of you matter. Each and every one of you were created on purpose, with the purpose, so go out there and fulfill your purpose. So thank you, and go Bulls! <laughs> this year we have two valedictorians. The first is Esmeralda Castro. She is graduating with a 4.0 GPA. She is a member of the Health Occupation Students of America Club, the Mecha Club, Youth Works, Mr. Team Wapato, Migrant Leadership Program, ASB, and National Honor Society. She has taken 14 advanced classes in her four years at Wapato High School. Esmeralda is attending the University of Washington to major in nursing. She is the daughter of Salvador and Maria Castro. Please welcome Esmeralda Castro. Good afternoon, teachers, family, and friends, and the class of 2023. It is an honor to have earned the title that has brought me up here today. It is an even higher honor to be one among this group of very well achieved students that have grown so close together over the years. To say the class of 2023 is strong is an understatement of their true dedication. We have shown strength in many different manners. In 2010, we started our 13 year long journey as we entered the door into our kindergarten class. At the time, 2023 sounded like it was a lifetime away. Little did I know that it would come in a blink of an eye. For that period of time, life didn't require much strength. Our worries included going to the book fair and wondering if we would get a good snack at the end of the day. Gradually, life required more from us. When the entire class of 2023 fully met in sixth grade, I was not aware that I would be meeting some of the most important people in my life today. The bonds created with teachers and the moments shared between friends are memories that we get to take with us as the years pass by. During our freshman year, a supposed two-week break from school completely turned our lives upside down. Some of us did not step foot back on campus until our junior year. Students, as we reflect on this time, I want you to think about the strength that it took to keep yourselves motivated through online school. The strength it took to wake up to observe the screen for hours just to do it again every single day. You adapted, overcame the challenge, and became an adult. 
You have done so much without giving yourself enough credit. The people you walked into the school with may not be the people by your side today, and that is perfectly okay. You have created your story. Life is full of changes, and every decision you have made has led you to where you are today. When our journey started in 2010, we thanked our parents for tying our shoes. Tonight, we thank them for the sacrifices they made as we walked to the stage. In honor of my family and my culture, I would like to give an agradecement to my first idioma. Fathers, abuelos and guardians, we know that many of you did not have the opportunity to receive the education that we, the students, have received. Thank you for all the sacrifices that you have made for us. Today, we receive our diplomas with the hope of being proud of you. We thank you for all the things you do for this moment. Personally, I would like to take this moment to thank my parents and my sisters, that, although I die every time I cross the street, I can prove that it is possible. Today marks the end of the chapter. As we move on to the next phase of our life, may we remember the people who helped shape who we are today. You deserve to be proud of who you are, and today is just the beginning of many more achievements awaiting you in the real world. There is an entire world out there waiting to be explored. Realistically speaking, life will not be easy. Once again, this is your story to keep writing. So make mistakes, fail, hurt, but never let it stop you from being able to get back up and succeed. Class of 2023, lo logramos. Our second valedictorian is Alyssa Holt-Zack. She is graduating with a 4.0 GPA. She is a member of the AP English class. Alyssa has taken 14 advanced classes in her four years at Wapka High School. In the fall, she will be attending Central Washington University to major in elementary education. She is the daughter of Adrian Holt and Don Zack. Please welcome Alyssa Holt-Zack.
the darkest times when you feel scared and unsure, remember that you have stars of your own. Your pets, your friends, your lover, your teachers, your family, those who are like family, and even those who may have lost. Graduates, I congratulate you on finishing one phase, but it's time to enter another. I hope that you take advantage, take, I hope that as you take on this change, you look back and realize the overwhelming amount of support you had. People care about you and will continue to care about you as you grow into the wonderful person you are. Thank you, Alyssa. I would now like to introduce Inbox, Singing and Million Dreams.
Wapato School Board, Superintendent Garza, I certify that the class of 2023 has completed all local and state requirements for graduation from high school. At this point, it is my pleasure to present Wapato High School's graduating class of 2023. Savannah Vanessa. Sean Castillo. Brandon Cota Sasaka. Luana Ann Hart.
Anthony Cowan.
graduating from Wapato School's online program, Ariana Sanchez. Alejandra Gonzalez. Esmeralda Ortiz. And graduating from Alto High School, Quincy Cortejo. The Wapato community has a proud history of serving our nation. Will those graduates who are enlisting in the military please stand at this time? All right, WHS class of 2023. It's almost time to celebrate. But first, y'all listen to me talk one more time. This is the end of a long road that started back in kindergarten. You have had many people in your life that have helped you get to today. So please take a moment, look up in the stands, and wave for those people who helped get you here today. that you were freshmen coming to WHS, and now you're sitting here almost done with graduation. The last four years at WHS, we have been through a lot together. We told you as freshmen, our goal was for you to graduate from Wapato High School on time and have a little fun along the way. Well, you have made it to graduation, and I hope that you have fun along the way. You're sitting here tonight with your diploma in hand because you have worked hard and never lost sight of your goal of graduating. You earned the right to call yourself a graduate of Wapato High School. Please take what you have learned from your first day of kindergarten to your last day of Wapato High School and make our community proud and make this world a better place. Always remember that the staff here at Wapato High School will always be here for you cheering you on, and waiting to hear about the wonderful things you accomplish in this world. It has been an honor and a privilege serving as your principal the last four years. I wish you the best of luck moving forward, and I can't wait to hear how you go out and change the world. Thank you. Class of 2023, please stand. You may move your tassels. That's right. 